At this point, chances are you've heard of Alexandra Daddario. The actress has already starred in big-time movies like Baywatch and Percy Jackson, and held recurring roles on TV shows like Parenthood, True Detective, and American Horror Story. Besides having piercing blue eyes, here are 10 things you should know about Alexandra Daddario. She comes from a political family. Daddario's father, Richard, served as the U.S. Department of Justice's attach in Moscow before being appointed as the New York City Police Department's Deputy Commissioner for Counterterrorism in 2010. His father, Connecticut Congressman Emilio Q. Daddario, served 12 years in the U.S. House of Representatives. Guess the San Andreas star didn't want to stick to the family business. She grew up on the Upper East Side. Given how many different roles they take on, and how they mold themselves into whatever character they're playing at the moment, it can be tough to guess exactly where certain actors and actresses were raised. In Alexandra Daddario's case, her upbringing was a little more Gossip Girl than you might have imagined. She grew up on the Upper East Side. Given her strong New York roots, we're kind of surprised she didn't try to make it on Broadway or in live theater before heading to the glitz and glam of Los Angeles. But it's not as if her career is struggling right now. Given the amount of blockbusters she's been appearing in, she clearly made the right choice. She got her first big role at just 16. She didn't waltz from high school straight onto the set of a hit sitcom, but she did snag a role in the soap opera All My Children at just 16. While the average individual may not know soap opera stars as well as they know A-list movie stars, the fact is, many actors get their start on soaps, and given the quick memorization and shooting schedule required, they're actually a great boot camp for aspiring actors. She moved on eventually, but that early taste of success likely gave her great motivation to keep pursuing an acting career. She's a fan of fantasy films. It's always nice when an actor opens up and tells people just what they like and manage to sound like normal people. It's a broad genre, but there's a lot of different things she could be into as far as fantasy goes. Given the movie she's been in, it might seem like she wouldn't strike you as a D&D type person, but things happen, and there've been surprises on that front more than once with certain actors. She's had a couple of voice roles in video games. Obviously, Daddario is known for her great beauty, but has a fine voice too. She has done a lot of voice work for various projects. That includes Robot Chicken, the hit Adult Swim cartoon that puts a very twisted edge on popular movies and TV shows. She did both voice work and motion capture for the video game Battlefield Hard Edge as the daughter of a gunrunner briefly involved in the crazy plot. Most prominently, Daddario voiced Janet Van Dyne, aka The Wasp, in Avengers Academy, a mobile phone game. She plays the piano. The actress started taking piano lessons when she was nine years old. In an interview with Marie Claire, Daddario attributed memorizing pieces for recitals as good training for being an actress. She told the magazine, all the money my mom spent on lessons paid off. And when seen on Parenthood, she played Moonlight Sonata. She loves yoga dates. Daddario keeps it real by admitting something everyone knows to be true. Dating, especially at the beginning, can be really awkward. It's great once you get to know the person, but those first stages can be tough. Rather than trying to disguise that fact, she fully embraces it when it comes to her dating solution, by hopping right into the deep end with a yoga date. While you probably wouldn't think twice about going to yoga with your BFF and getting all sweaty, it might seem strange to do so with a potential partner. However, as Daddario says, they might get grossed out by me because I sweat so much, but that's how you know if they're a keeper. Given how tough dating is, in Hollywood in particular, this seems like a pretty solid plan, weeding out the losers and getting in a good workout all at the same time. Charlie's Theron is one of her beauty icons. Daddario's style throughout the San Andreas press tour has been on point, so it's no wonder she looks up to someone with equally chic style. I think Theron is pretty remarkable. The 29-year-old told People, everything she wears is amazing, and I think just she's just so glamorous and beautiful because it's sort of the way she carries herself. She likes doing her own stunts whenever possible. Daddario may have the fragile beauty of a porcelain doll, but she's definitely not one to shy away from getting her hands dirty on set. While there are many stars who pride themselves on doing their own stunts and only using their stunt doubles in truly dangerous scenes, other stars basically let their stunt double do all the hard work, especially if they're not accustomed to being in action flicks where that type of physicality is required. You might assume that Daddario would leave the stunts to her capable stunt double, but the actress actually prefers to get in on the action herself. While she didn't have as many crazy stunts in Baywatch, she spilled that she did a lot of the stunts herself when starring in San Andreas. She couldn't get guys when she was a teenager. Alexandra Daddario is a definite bombshell, and while she's taken on media roles on shows like True Detective, a lot of her fame has come as a result of that gorgeous face and those piercing blue eyes. The camera absolutely loves her. 
which makes her an easy choice for magazines looking for a starlet to feature in a photo shoot. However, if you think that her looks mean she's always had guys falling over themselves trying to get to her and ask her out, you'd be wrong. As she told People, As a teenager, I could never really get guys, and I was pretty nerdy. Now I feel like I'm getting my revenge by being a Baywatch babe. I'm like, you could have had this, and now look at me.